Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make potato cakes. In this bowl I have some leftover mashed potatoes that I made last night and I just put them in the fridge and before I started this video I put them in the microwave for about a minute and added a little bit of milk just to sort of fluff them up a little bit and warm them up just a tiny bit. They're not like hot or anything. And to this I'm going to add an egg and it depends on how much mashed potatoes you have is going to depend on how much of the ingredients that you're going to add. I'm going to also add a little bit of salt and some pepper. And you may not need much salt and pepper depending on how much you put in the day before. I'm also going to add a small red onion that I've chopped up pretty finely. And now I'm going to add in some cheddar cheese. And I'm just eyeballing how much I'm putting in here. I really don't know how much is going in here. And what I'm going to do is just stir this all together. If you feel like you need to add some milk, you can do that. I'm also going to be adding some flour. I just want to get that egg mixed in there really well. After you have everything mixed in, you want to start adding flour. I'm going to start with a third of a cup and mix that in really well. You don't want the mashed potatoes to feel super wet and loose. You want them to be thick because we're going to make patties out of these or you could make um, little balls out of them. When you feel like your potatoes are at the right consistency to be able to mold them into a patty, then you're going to go ahead and do that and you're going to roll each one in just a little bit of flour. And then we're going to stick these in some hot grease and fry them. I'm frying my potato cakes in just some vegetable oil. And once you can see that they're starting to get a little bit brown around the edges, it'll be okay to go ahead and flip them over, which I'm not a very good flipper. Ah. And I have my heat set on about a medium. Um, you can adjust it up and down if you need to. And once they're nice and golden brown on both sides, then they are done and you're ready to serve them.